Good evening, I'm Meg Oliver. More dangerous weather is expected across the country this holiday weekend. At least 10 weather related deaths have been reported so far. In parts of the South, the threat is not from storms or heat, but from record flooding. Larry Seward has the latest. In Arkansas's second largest city, they're banking on sacks of sand, one last ditch shield between hundreds of homes and the rising Arkansas River expected to reach a record 41 feet on Monday. Some people are freaking out and some people are acting like it ain't nothing. And you? I'm trying to be prepared. And I was a Boy Scout leader for years. Be prepared. The raging river already pummeled parts of northeast Oklahoma. The town of Weber Falls is underwater. Residents evacuated. In Muskogee, Oklahoma, officials predict catastrophic flooding. Jennifer Tanner can only wait and watch. It's not easy to start over when you're, everything you own is in one place, so you don't have anything. Flooding forced the River Spirit Casino and other businesses in Tulsa, Oklahoma to close this Memorial Day weekend, the start of summer vacation season. We have 1,600 employees, actually 1,800, and we had to send them all home. We'll be closed at least through Sunday, if maybe longer. Severe weather hampered the Plain States for over a week. An outbreak forecasters see lasting into next week, possibly slowing cleanup. Frankly, we're planning for the worst, but hoping and praying for the best. Fort Smith officials warned residents in three low-lying communities they may have to leave. So neighbors pitched in with sand and worried what's to come. There's a lot of children with that, that's going to be without homes. I'm sure the food's going to be easy to provide for, but just having a place to call home again. By noon Monday, the National Weather Service says the Arkansas River here will climb some 19 feet above flood stage. That's about the height of a two-story home. Meg? Larry Seward, thank you.